Welcome to the Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. Today's meditation comes from some deep research I've done in a variety of different cultures. Recently doing some extensive research in Hebrew, I found some Hebrew meditations when combined are truly amazing. This particular meditation will involve five parts. The first is balancing the centers. Using understandings from Hebrew meditations, we will balance the energy centers. Then, following that, we will harmonize the five bodies. And I will explain that. Following the harmonization of the five bodies, we will invite down the power. Once we've invited down the power, we will awaken the middle pillar and then we will invoke the shield of the guardians. Now that may sound confusing to you, but understand a lot of times when you hear ancient Hebrew, it's very powerful. It's a unique language. There are tremendous benefits to using the Hebrew language in meditation because it invokes a certain vibration. Let me put it this way. Imagine if you did live multiple lives and at one point in time, you lived a life where you used the Hebrew language. When you start using mantras that are in Hebrew, it may invoke those early reincarnational memories. But more importantly, within reality, there's all these records of different vibrations. So when you call up certain mantras, you're calling up that particular vibration. Using the Hebrew language, people have tried magic spells and all kinds of amazing things. And after studying these sacred sounds, I've come up with this meditation designed to balance all of your energy centers and invoke the archangels to balance the energies going up and the middle pillar going down and all of the different energies and then activating the sh what they call the shield of the guardians. I think you're going to love it. So I just want you to find a place. We'll start right here and just relax. This may be easier to do sitting up since we are going to be trying some mantras together. You do not have to be completely accurate in your pronunciations. Just do your best. And every time you're invoking these vibrations, notice the way the vibrations affect your bodies, your cells, and the way they affect your mind. You will find that this has absolutely true magical power to it. So, just for a moment, I want you to settle down and let go of the outside world. Go through your body and try to relax your muscles as best you can. Take a deep, deep breath. Breathe in and feel the cool air coming into your body. And as you breathe out, notice the hotter air expelling from your body. And as you notice the temperature of the breath, the cool air coming in, cooling you down, you notice the temperature of your body. And as you breathe in, you relax deeper than ever before. Breathe in deeply and exhale once again. And at the base of the spine, visualize a red pyramid situated at the first chakra. Using an act of mental visualization while breathing normally, inhale in a stream of white light, the Ein Sof, or limitless light, through the third eye at the forehead. Now direct this pure white light down the spinal column 
until it reaches and covers the red pyramid at the base of the spine. Like a white capstone. Holding this white capstone firmly in place to balance and activate the root chakra. Intone with me three times the sacred phrase Adonai Deze Ba Ot. Now visualize a six-pointed orange star, the Star of David, in the area of the second chakra, close to the spleen or organs of procreation. As before, take in a white stream of light through the third eye at the forehead and direct this white light down the spinal column until it reaches and activates and balances the six-pointed orange star representing the sacred seed Keeping the center of procreation firmly imbued with the white light, chant three times the sacred phrase, Ehie Asher, Ehie, I am that I am, pronounced Ehie Asher, Ehie. solar plexus, the third chakra. Hold a mental picture of a yellow crystal. Inhaling again a stream of white light through the third eye. Take this down the spine to mingle with the yellow 
at the solar plexus. And then bring the white light up again to the third eye to form the double helix of the DNA system. The programming cornerstone of life. As the solar plexus center becomes balanced and activated, project yellow arrows of light out in all directions. And say three times Mashiach or Messiah. Mashiach. Mashiach. Now, visualize a crystal of glowing emerald green, the color of rebirth at the fourth or heart chakra. Breathing in white light again through the third eye. Direct this light down to the heart center to mingle with the emerald green. Visualize an opening of the heart center in six directions, three pointing upward and three downward to balance both the physical and transcendental self. Then, while emitting emerald green rays outward from the heart, Intone three times the sacred word, meaning King Malek. 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 At the throat chakra, the fifth center, visualize a turquoise colored crystal radiating light. Inhaling white light again through the third eye take this light down to mingle with the turquoise at the throat so as to balance and revitalize the throat center
then send turquoise arrows outward and chant three times the word Adonai, meaning Lord. Focus on the third eye position, the seat of the sixth chakra. Visualize the Hebrew name of God inscribed on the forehead in the form of flame letters in royal blue. Yod, Hey, Vow, Hey. Alternately, visualize the English letters Y, H. W H in blue flames. Intone the letters of the holy name silently within the mind, or if preferred, say them out loud three times as the third eye center becomes alive with the light of the Creator. Yod he Yod he he Yod he he Hold a mental image of a purple crystal pyramid capstone directly over the seventh chakra at the crown of the head. And then extend downward to complete the pyramid and thus enfold the entire body in a purple light. All centers are now balanced and the seven seals have been pierced activating all chakras in unison. Chant three times the phrase Malek Shemayim, meaning King of the Heavens. Malek seven physical centers to align them with the metaphysical or paraphysical chakras. Mentally create the image of an inverted crystal pyramid of white light at the crown chakra above the head. Place a scintillating diamond inside this upturned pyramid. This represents the eighth chakra through which we connect with other space time dimensions and the Lords of Light. Holding the image of the pyramid and the diamond above the head in tone three times Ayin Sofur or Limitless Light of the Absolute. I 
center is now fully activated and in balance with the seven lower centers. At the ninth chakra beyond the eighth, visualize an intensely bright light and chant three times Ein Sof, the Absolute. Ein chakra is now operative and consciousness projects only upward through the inverted pyramid at the top of the head. By activating the eighth and ninth chakras in conjunction with the seventh chakra, we initiate a physical quantum leap that takes us beyond the imperfect karmic cycles of the solar spectrum. Now, Chant three times the word Ayin, meaning nothingness, and go in to the void of meditation for several minutes. We now harmonize the five bodily vehicles which surround the physical body of each person like so many sheaths. The outermost of these bodily vehicles, the electromagnetic body, codes the physical body directly into other consciousness regions, other dimensions. To fine tune the electromagnetic body, say three times the phrase which invokes the plurality of the Supreme Being as a creator. Eloha Uma, pronounced Eloha Uma. It's a singular Elohim, creator gods. Uma is an Aramaic word referring to God's covenant with his community of light. Eloha Umah Eloha 
The electromagnetic body aligns itself with the will of the Supreme Creator and with the next of our outer bodies, the epikinetic body. This is the energy vehicle required for teleportation and projection within the physical universe. Allow the vibration of the sacred phrase Eloha Uma to bring balance to the epikinetic body and to align with the electromagnetic body. Eloha The tuning of the Ika body follows this is the bodily vehicle of higher consciousness utilized for time travel while still retaining contact with the physical body, balancing the Ika body with the other bodily vehicles is again achieved by repeating three times the words Eloha Uma. Next comes alignment of the inner geometrian body, the light geometry body, or Guia, which frees creative life from slavery to the flesh and offers a positive point of connection with the over self. Bring this inner gematrian body into alignment with the electromagnetic body, the epikinetic body, and the Ika body by saying three times, Eloha Uma. E
Finally, visualize the four newly aligned inner bodies becoming raised together to merge into a fifth body, the mantle of many colors or Zohar body. This is the transcendental bodily vehicle designed to carry a person beyond the boundaries of immediate relativity into the higher dimensions of the heavenly Jerusalem. It is the true body of light which becomes activated during phrasing of the words Eloha Uma again three times. E five bodies harmonizing and balancing for the next few moments. Now, we will invite down the power. In Hebraic texts, the first act in inviting down the power is to place around the head of any person or persons taking part in this meditation a helmet of perfect protective light. This headgear of super luminal light is created through sounding of the familiar holy 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 is the lord god of hosts in hebrew the so-called celestial song chant six to twelve times the words kadosh 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 aronai teza baot and mentally place around the head a helmet of perfect protective light through which only that which emanates from the highest possible source is able to enter into the consciousness and through which nothing at all of negative nature will be able to penetrate. Kadosh, 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 Adonai, Tzebaot. Kadosh, 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 Adonai, Tzebaot. 
Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzebaot. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzebaot. Kadosh, Kadosh, Adonai Tzebaot. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzebaot. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzebaot. Now, invite the Supreme to enter into the physical consciousness and into the whole being by intoning 24 times the ancient Hebrew temple blessing, El Elyon, meaning the Most High, pronounced El Elyon. El Elyon, El Elyon, El Elyon. Visualize the downward extending flow of light and power in the form of a pyramidal pillar of pure light from on high, which envelopes and permeates all the bodily vehicle, thus bathed in the fire of Shekinah light. Say twelve times, Layu esh 
Shekinah, pillar of light of the Holy Spirit presence, pronounced Layuai Shekinah. Layuai Shekinah. Now, just ponder this flow of energy for a moment as you have brought down the power. You have balanced the energy centers and the five bodies. Now, we will activate the middle pillar. Some people prefer to do this standing up. But, in any case, activate the Kether entry point for divine energy, the pure white light of the Shekinah, just beyond the crown of the head by intoning six to twelve times, Ehie, or I am. flow of the Shekinah energy as a pure white light that enters at the top of the head. Direct the flow towards the back of the neck, the back of the skull, the seat of the Da'ath or knowledge, as Neville Goddard says, the place where God is sleeping. Become aware that the inflow of spiritual knowledge supersedes all physical knowledge. Chant six to twelve times the holy name Yehovah Elohim. By doing this, you will awaken the Elohim within. Yehovah.
Accept the energy of the Shekinah light into the heart, the center of beauty or Tifereth, and intone the Hebrew name Yehoah Eloah Va Da Oth, which is Hebrew for Lord God of Knowledge and is the divine name of the Tifereth. Balancing Shekinah energy down to the base of the spine and intone the phrase Shaddai El Kai, the Almighty Living God, six to twelve times. Shaddai El Kai, Shaddai. Shaddai El Chai Shaddai El Chai Shaddai El Chai Shaddai El Finally, bring the white light energy of the Holy Spirit down to a point between the feet, vocalizing six or twelve times the phrase Adonai Haaretz, Lord of the Earth. This is a reminder that you are the Lord of the Earth, a reminder of your past and future, and of your power. Adonai Haaretz Adonai Haaretz Adonai 
As above, so below. The five sephirotic centers are now truly aligned with the Shekinah force balanced between Metatron at the crown or Kether and Sandalphon at the feet or Malkuth. Hold this balance for a few moments and then begin to slowly raise the arms upwards and downwards like the wings of a bird or an angel. While doing this, visualize emanations of light forming a coat of many colors around your body, starting at the feet, the color luminous red moving toward the base of the spine, glowing yellow upward to the heart, emerald green to the back of the neck, royal blue, and finally above the head, the violet flame of cosmic order and all of the myriad hues that fall between each of the five main colors. Lower your arms. Clothed in the rainbow garments of the Zohar body of the Shekinah light, your human consciousness can now be raised to come into direct contact with the Benai Or, the Brotherhood of Light, and the Benai Elohim, the Teachers of Light so that divine inspiration and divine energy will flow freely into your spirit, your soul, and your mind, as well as your body. Now, before we go to this last portion, you will perform the Kabbalistic cross. So imagine a white light coming down from the top of the universe, and you place your first two fingers upon your forehead over your third eye, and you say, Ate. Place your fingers on your heart and say, Malku. Then upon your right shoulder, Say, Vegemura. Now place the fingers on your left shoulder and say, Vegedula. And place your hands together in prayer and say, Leolam Amen. You can feel the light anchoring you to this very point from all sides of the universe. Now, we will invoke the shield of the guardians. Repeat the following affirmation. I am that I am. Ehye, Ashur, Ehye. We release the heart, mind, and spirit, free of all limitation, into the infinite. We call by name the archangels, Michael, 
Gabriel, Uriel, and Raphael. Our God is the God of angels. Our God is the God of light. Together with men, women, and children, and interplanetary souls of like mind throughout the universe, we, of collective mind, combine to project a rainbow of light to surround the country in which we reside, to link up with all countries, to encircle the world, to encompass the universe. Peace is here. Peace is now. We live in our Zohar bodies of light, in the new Jerusalem united with God. Yahweh, Yeheshua, Shekinah. And with the Benai Or, the Brotherhood of Light. Now, create a mental image of a huge, flaming, six pointed star consisting of two interlocking triangles or pyramids. This is the shield of the guardians of the apocalypse, which, when activated from higher dimensions of light, holds the entire planet under protection. Understand the symbolism involved. The downward thrusting triangle or pyramid represents the inflow of light and love from the Creator's kingdom. Above, the upward thrusting triangle or pyramid symbolizes our human attempt to take ourselves off the cross of space and time so that we may coexist with the Brotherhood of Light in the higher heavens. The shield is activated by the sounding of the names of its guardians. The downward thrusting triangle is carried toward us by the power contained in the sacred names of the Great Initiator, Melchizedek, the Angel of Presence, Metatron, and the Angel who is both the builder and protector of our part of the universe, Mikael. Repeat each of those names three times. Melchizedek 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 Metatron 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 Mikael Mikael of the upward thrusting triangle that takes us off the cross of space and time is activated by the sacred names of the Christ or Messianic Trinity, Moses, Jesus, and Elijah, Moishe, Yeshua, and Eliyahu. Moishe, 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 Yeshua, 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 Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu. As we chant once again these six great names of power, we visualize the shield of the guardians vibrating with energy as it extends to enormous size and forms a protective shield over the entire planet Earth. Melchizedek. Melchizedek Melchizedek Metatron 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 Megael 
to visualize soldiers of light descending from the high 10 100 1000 10,000 100,000 1 million 10 million soldiers of shining light and they join forces with us to enfold the planet with light and love the flow of energy now settles and the great shield of protection and healing is in place resonating all the time with the energy grid system of the planet earth going right into silent meditation we intone the word shalom for peace six times and will enter into several minutes of meditation to end this glorious meditation. Shalom. Shalom.
now as we come out of the silence, we use the great word of peace again six times. Shalom. Hold the form of a pyramid capstone of purple light. At the seventh center, at the crown of the head, extend this purple light downward over the body, enfolding it in protective energy. This purple pyramid of protection can be renewed by an act of will at any time. And now we end by saying, Amen. 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 And this ends our first Hebraic meditation, calling down the power and activating the guardian's shield. Slowly wake up and go out and have the most glorious day. You have called down the power and it is now infused in every cell of your body. Welcome to the reality revolution.